Thank you, sir. In Pittsburgh. This is Action News. Hello, Pittsburgh. Police say they've cracked the Jocko Hetherington murder case. Hetherington was shot down in the parking lot of a Route 30 motel last August. Greg McCampbell has the story in this live report. Greg? The Allegheny County District Attorney's Office called a press conference late this afternoon to announce the arrest of an alleged gangland killer. More arrests are on the way. County police have arrested Anthony Rocky LaRocca for the gangland slaying of John Jocko Hetherington, who died from multiple gunshot wounds received in a North Russell motel parking lot in 1982. The DA's office announced their findings after an eight-month investigation. Our investigation is continuing, and uh, we think that there will be at least one more arrest. LaRocco was arrested in a barber shop at Bacarin late this afternoon or around 1.30 this afternoon. A warrant has been issued for Francis Richard Ferry of Glassport, Pennsylvania. Ferry has not been notified himself of the warrant, but his attorney has. I'm Greg McCampbell, live in downtown Pittsburgh. From Channel 4, WTAE-TV in Pittsburgh. This is Action News. Good evening, I'm Adam Lynch. Sally Wigan is off this evening. Well, prepare yourselves for the beginning of the end. Tomorrow morning at 9, the PennDOT crews will be hard at work completing the fourth and final phase of the parkway reconstruction. Greg McCampbell is on the parkway now with details on just who will be affected and how. Greg? Thank you, Adam, and you're exactly right. Starting tomorrow morning, motorists using the parkway can expect their nightmares to begin. The $35 million reconstruction project on the Parkway Central will get started. It will take all of summer and most of the fall to complete. On this anniversary date of protests at the Shadyside Presbyterian Church, parishioners were prepared for the worst. Last year's Easter services were disrupted, but this year parishioners worshipped in peace. That couldn't have come without the aid of local law enforcement officials. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Greg McCampbell. This is the morning edition of News 25 Alive. It's going to be very hot and humid today with temperatures reaching well into the 90s. There won't be a chance of rain until late this evening. The average temperature right now in the four-state region is holding around 80 degrees. A Martinsburg man was arrested and charged with drunken driving in a fatal accident. A 27-year-old Indiana woman and her four-year-old daughter were killed near Ripon, West Virginia, when the vehicle of David Eugene Gano, 30 years of age, was traveling in the wrong lane. The accident occurred on US 340 around 4.30 yesterday morning. Gano was treated for minor injuries and is being held in a Jefferson County jail on bond. An investigation in Cumberland, Maryland continues today. In a sexual assault case, police are looking for the attacker of a Columbus, Ohio woman. The woman was using the restroom facilities at the Holiday Inn when the incident took place in Cumberland yesterday morning. The charges in the case would have been handled as a second-degree sex offense. However, no arrests have been made. Five destroyed. Five uh, apartments were destroyed at a Franklin and Walnut Street area over the weekend. Five families lost their homes. It took firefighters three hours to bring the fire under control. An investigation into the cause of the blaze continues today. The fire broke out about 2.45 Saturday afternoon. The building was condemned by the city building inspector after the blaze was extinguished. One firefighter, volunteer firefighter, was treated for heat exhaustion at the Washington County Hospital and released. Some of the homeless families were aided by the Salvation Army and others sought shelter through friends. And there will be more news and weather right after these messages, so stay with us. I'll be right back with the morning edition. Maryland 6th District Congresswoman Beverly Byron says a keynote on the defense authorization bill Thursday was lost, but it's still a victory for her. Byron co-sponsored an amendment to the bill that would have deleted $1.4 million to buy nine MX missiles. And though the House voted against the amendment, Byron was not entirely disappointed. Maryland's congressmen will meet tomorrow in Washington. They will discuss emergency legislation to restore extended benefits for the unemployed. Under new rules adopted last year by Congress, 20,000 Marylanders will not be able to collect extended pay after the first of this month. 
Weather for Hagerstown and surrounding vicinities will look like this. Mostly sunny, hot and humid with highs today in the low to mid 90s. Partly cloudy tonight with lows in the upper 60s to low 70s. There is a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the night. Tuesday will be partly cloudy, very warm and humid with a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs on Tuesday will be near 90 degrees. That's the news and weather. Join us at 6 o'clock for News 25 Alive. I'm Greg McCampbell, and have a good day.